flow in this session we will talk about stopping starting and terminating an instance on Amazon Web Services known as AWS this is Hassan Mir from zero2protraining.com so we understand that Amazon Web Services provide numerous services on cloud infrastructure and EC2 known as Elastic Compute Cloud is one of the type of services that Amazon provides using EC2 you, you can launch various types of instances like Linux machines or Windows machines etc in one of the previous videos we launched SAP HANA 1 instance on SUSE Linux for example what is an instance that you're getting from Amazon Web Services it is a virtual machine that you're getting it would have resources attached to it for example memory random access memory you, it will have CPU it will have hard disk so it will have everything that you need to do the work just like how you have all these resources in your physical machine one of the advantages of a cloud service is that you can scale these resources up and down based on your needs in a matter of minutes so you don't have to pay upfront fees for all these resources that you're not using you may be using it with the passage of time but not immediately so that is the advantage you're getting from the cloud services we need to understand the concept of EBS which stands for elastic block store EBS is a storage that is independent of the instance and it is measured in volumes when you create an instance certain number of volumes are automatically created for you as a result of the creation of the instance you can also create manually EBS volumes which could be attached to an existing instance as devices so what is an EBS is that an hard disk not really EBS is, is storing all the data and it is independent of the instance when an instance is created the hard disk will be available within the virtual machine but the data and the hard disk would be created from the data stored on the EBS when you remove the virtual machine EBS is still there holding all the data so the data in the EBS is independent from the instance keep in mind that when you create an instance you are paying an hourly charge each instance has different charges for example the SAP HANA 1 instance that we created we are paying about three and a half dollars an hour we can stop the instance anytime so we will stop incurring that charges so we only pay when we are using the instance and for EBS volumes you're paying monthly and it's a negligible charge like 10 cents per gigabyte per month now that is clear to you the billing and the concept of EBS we can move forward and let's talk about the concept of stopping an instance when you stop an instance it's not that your virtual machine has been suspended and you can turn it on anytime you like in fact that is how it will feel to you and that's a whole idea that is okay but in fact the virtual machine has been deleted removed when you stop the instance and the data has been protected in the EBS volumes which are outside the instance so stopping an instance simply means your virtual machine is removed but data on the EBS volumes is, is still there what does starting an instance means it does not mean that your virtual machine is there in a suspended stage and you simply turn it on in fact the virtual machine will be created on the fly when you start the instance and the data on the hard disk will be supplied by the EBS volumes that is holding your data so you will get the same state that you wanted to have on the virtual machines hard disk okay so that means when you have stopped the virtual machine you have stopped incurring the hourly charges for the instance yes that is true but the charges for EBS volumes still apply and they are negligible as I have already informed you unless you have tremendous volumes of data 
terminating however means that your instance has been removed as well as your EBS volumes have been deleted. So you will terminate the instance when you are done using the virtual machine or the instance altogether. You don't want to restart at any time in future and so that way you'll delete it so that you don't keep on incurring the volume charges. Also keep in mind that whenever you bring an instance from stop to start state a full hour is charged. So if you stop your instance and start it three times in an hour you'll be paying for three hours the instance charge because instance is charged on hourly basis and EBS volumes are charged on monthly basis. In the next session you will see how to start and stop and terminate an instance. You get all these options under the actions menu, terminate, stop and start.